Oh man. Now this this build, oof. I just hope you're uh season level ninety. <laughs> You'll see why. Anyways, this is gonna be your Saint Elmo's double companion meta build now the reason why i'm saying meta build is obviously you are getting some extra damage from the double companion and everyone and their everyone and their mom is claiming that the saint elmos is the new meta everybody is loving it there's not one person that doesn't love the saint elmos engine so much so that so many people are claiming a nerf is incoming when nothing publicly has ever been said about that. But regardless, let's jump into it. What's going on YouTube? Kamikaze Von Doom here with another Division 2 build video. Now shout out to the DoD Disciples of Doom. And in today's build video, I'm going to show you a St. Elmo's build that you need to use right now. Just try it out. You'll love it. It has armor, it has insane amounts of damage, and it's a lot of fun. So I hope you enjoy. Now sit back, relax, grab that popcorn, don't forget to hit that like, subscribe if you haven't already, and let me know what you think in the comment section below. Now, let's jump into the build breakdown. Now I'll be doing all of the gameplay live right after this build breakdown. No editing or anything at all, so stay tuned for that. Now, starting with the specialization, I am using the survivalist specialization. Now, the reason being is I want that companion activated at all times. So what I'm choosing to use is the Mender Seeker Mine. Now, this Seeker Mine will follow you around and it will heal you. And then whenever um, it does, it'll come back, what, every 19 seconds. Now, when that is on cooldown, I will then pop my Defender Drone and then have the drone following me everywhere. So at all times, I plan to have this double companion activated. Now, I will be showing you PvP and PvE gameplay, so I can't wait uh, for that. Now, with the weapon, we are only using the primary weapon. My secondary and sidearm are just placeholders. It's all about the St. Elmo's engine, okay? Now, this one... You can actually recalibrate the bottom attribute. So what I highly recommend you do is recalibrate your St. Elmo's engine until you get damaged targets at a cover. That is going to be your best one for overall damage. Now this one, uh, the St. Elmo's engine is sitting at 182.6k total damage, which is ridiculous. Now we do know it's because Double Companion and the St. Elmo's is just a mwah, chef's kiss. Now, I don't know if the developers meant for that to happen, but they did state that they do want Perfect Companion and Companion to work together. So, I mean, here's a great example for that. Now the expertise level is at 18 for this St. Elmo's engine. So I am 5% away from max. Therefore, you can get this to hit even harder. Now, remember, damage targets had a cover for that bottom attribute. Um, any other ones, I would probably say, like armor damage, maybe. And that's really about it. Now, looking at the build itself, I do have 1.2 million armor. I know. It's crazy, right? Now, the reason why we have that is because I have the Catharsis Exotic Mask. And I'm pairing that up with the Picaro's holster. Now, the reason why I'm doing this is because the Picaro's also gives us weapon damage. And the Catharsis Talent Vicious Cycle will also give us more weapon damage. So we're getting both armor and weapon damage out of both of these items. So in theory, every single piece of gear on this build is going to contribute to our damage. Now, with that being said, let's uh, start with the mask. Starting with the Catharsis. This is the exotic mask with the Talent Vicious Cycle. So taking damage will build up a stack. Now, you can get up to 30 stacks. Now, each of these stacks will give you a 1% we weapon damage increase. 
Now taking damage at max stacks, so at 30, if you take additional damage, it will then trigger a purge. Now this purge will take all status effects that are on you off, and it will drop a healing cloud on the ground. Now that healing cloud will heal you for 5% of your max armor for 10 seconds. And that will also be applied to all allies that are in that cloud. Now this one is uh, with all max attributes and a max crit chance mod. So we have max armor for the core, max incoming repairs, and max armor region. Now I know a lot of people love to put a incoming repairs mod with this just to give it a little bit more oomph, and I do agree. However, with this build, I chose a crit chance mod because I wanted to have max crit chance on this St. Elmo's engine. Now I know, spoiler alert, it does have max crit chance, but still, I wanted to go ahead and explain that now because usually when I run this mask, I'll run it with one incoming repairs mod just to give it a little bit more oomph with that uh, healing. Now, uh, the next one that gives us armor is the Picaro's Holster. Now, this is the named Brazos de Arcaba's holster that gives us both weapon damage and armor. So you get two out of the three. And if you run another piece and open up that skill tier, it's the equivalent of like, you know, a memento or like a ninja bike where you get all three core attributes from one item. Now, as far as the attributes, we have max armor for the core max crit chance, and then that weapon damage core as well. Next up, we have the Henri, or the Henry, wherever you're from. It depends on how you pronounce it. This is the named Electric, or Electric, brand set. And uh, this gives you perfect companion. Now, the brand set bonus we get from Electric is status effects, 10%. Now, the perfect companion... When you're within 10 meters of an ally or skill, you get a weapon damage increase of 20%. Now, this one does have health on it. I know. I cannot find a double crit. I just can't. So this is my best for right now. So this one has max weapon damage for the core, health, and then max crit hit damage with a max crit chance mod. Now, once I get you know crit chance there instead of the health, then I could change one of my mods over to the incoming repairs, and bada bing, bada boom, this build is complete. Now the next item is uh, the other companion, which is pretty neat. Now uh, the Fenris Backpack Talent Companion, it's within 5 meters of an ally or skill, you get 15% you know, increase to your weapon damage. Now... Obviously, we've done this in another video, and a lot of people have already been talking about it. You do get a damage increase running both Companion and Perfect Companion. Not sure why, but it is what it is. It's not in the known issues board, and the developers have not said anything about it. The only thing that they have publicly said is that they do want you to be able to use Companion with Perfect Companion, so that's what we're doing. Now, this one is a part of the Fenris group. So the Fenris Group brand set bonus we get for this build 10% AR damage. For the attributes, we have max weapon damage for the core, max crit chance, and max headshot with a max crit chance mod. Next up are both bested slots. We have the Contractor's Gloves, which is best in slot gloves for that armor damage attribute. Now, this one has max weapon damage for the core and max crit damage for the other attribute. However, it is Petrov, so we do get LMG damage from the brand set bonus. However, we're not utilizing that. We just want that armor damage for the St. Elmos. And then finally, we have the Fox's Prayer knee pads. Again, best in slot knee pads for damage, and it's because it comes with damage to targets out of cover as an attribute. Now this one, 8%, it goes with the damage targets out of cover on our weapon itself. And it also comes with max weapon damage for the core and max crit hit damage for that bottom attribute. Uh, the brand set bonus, just like the contractor's gloves, we are not utilizing this one being rifle damage. We're not using a rifle. We want that St. Elmo's engine. Now, this is 
both going to give you the most survivability and the most damage at the same time. I think that using this in both PvP or PvE would put a smile on your face. And right after we are done with this build breakdown, I will show you just that. Now, finishing up with the stats. This is for your St. Elmo's engine. Now, uh, the weapon damage is sitting at 182.5k. That is with uh, 73k in PvP. We are at max crit chance of 60%. We are at 101 crit hit damage and then 85% headshot. Now, don't forget about the armor damage, damage targets at a cover, health damage, and all those shock bullets. Looking at the offensive tab, we're sitting at 103% all weapons damage bonus and 40% AR damage bonus. So every time we're using the St. Elmo's engine, we are starting off at 143% damage bonus total. Gear Talents, we are using Companion with Perfect Companion, and then we do have Vicious Cycle from the Mask. Defensive Tab, we are rounded up to 1.2 million armor. We have a little bit of armor region from the Catharsis. We are sitting at 362k max health, and then 10% Explosive and Hazard Protection, but that is due to my watch level. Now here is er, the wrong place. Here's my disclaimer for all my build videos. Now I am currently at shade level 4,903. Now that means that all these boxes are maxed out 50 of 50. Now if you are at or above shade level 1,000, you can just copy and paste my build and get the exact same numbers and results. However, if you are below shade level 1,000, that would mean that some of these boxes are not maxed out. So when you go to copy and paste my build, some of your numbers might not add up the exact same way mine do. It's okay. Don't freak out, it's still a great build. Just note that by the time you hit shade level 1000, you'll get the most potential out of your build. Now it's not a you know requirement to reach shade level 1000, it's just a recommendation to get the most out of your build. But all right, that is it. Now let's do some PVP, shall we? And then uh, we'll finish up with some PVE. Now uh, what we are gonna do is we'll do some, uh, some PVP conflict, here we go. Come on. All right, it lured us right in, so. Neutralize all enemies before you run out We are of already in a room. Rogue defender drone okay. detected. Hostile defender drone detected. It's here. Rogue striker drone detected. Hostile striker drone detected. Yeah, they're just getting spawned. Rogue camp. explosive seeker mine detected. Hostile. Explosive seeker mine detected. Rogue stinger um, hive detected. Outside. Hostile stinger hive detected. The enemy is claiming the supply drop. The specialization supply drop has been claimed yeah. by the enemy. Is that the same guy? Yeah, it was. Okay, coming back. Oh, serious trade detected. Nice. Agent now we traded. So that's good. Oh, that guy's using the St. Elmo's engine too. Look at you. Oops, spawns just flipped. Spawns flipped. Spawns flipped. Turn around. Got him. I didn't mean to scope in there, but I did. Mm -hmm. Well, I know they're behind us too because of the spawns flip. Oh, I see him, I see him. Way back there. An agent needs assistance. Oh, he got me with a shoddy. Oh, he got me with a shoddy. Immediate medical assistance needed. Jeez. 
But you can see they're all melting pretty damn quick. I mean, I'm already five and one. Rogue Stinger Hive detected. Hostile Stinger Hive detected. Boost. About to come online. Rogue Defender Drone detected. Down with shock bullets. Oh my god, that was dirty. Hostile Defender Drone detected. System disrupted. I got you, bro. Allies are acquiring wow. the boost. That was so fast. Allies. It's a win. Solid work. System back online. And there you go. I mean, that was pretty quick. We got into a game that was already going. And I'm pretty sure we got an MVP. I mean, it was that quick. That's ridiculous. But you can see the amount of damage. Oh, no, we didn't get MVP. Get it, Elise. Okay, I see you, I see you. Nice. That's pretty dope. But still, let's just, let's see. Seven and one. 13.7 million damage. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. All right. Let's, uh, let's go back. All right, so we just uh, just got back into here. Let's turn back on Guardians. And let's turn off the uh, oh, Pistola's not on there anymore. Nice. We'll keep it the way it is. And then we'll do uh, Lincoln Memorial. How about that? Or I'll attempt it. We'll see. But do heroic. Here we go. Heroic with all directives. This is a uh, ballsy. Ballsy. All right. Well, let's go. We need you to secure the memorial and remove the yep, true sun's forces. They maintain this outpost. Now, if you haven't already, hit that thumbs up. Campus. Support the channel. Oh, oh, am I about the Delta? I think I'm Deltaing. It's not. It's not letting me fire my weapon. What's going on here? Yep, there it is. All right, GGs. Ah, GGs. Okay. Did it just reset the mission? Let's try that again. We need you to secure the memorial and remove the true right. sun's forces. Here we go. They maintain this outpost. The true Gotta love the old Delta. Hmm. Hmm. This one, the guardians in the back. Jeez. Right. Oh my gosh. Let's go, dude. Let's go. Get out of here. Get out of here. You about to die. Come on. Oh my gosh. Come on, dude. I really have to sit here while they do that? Jeez. Come on. Oh, hold on. Need some ammo. There we go. Yeah, I'll take my one ammo. <laughs> Alright, here we go. That was pretty quick, though. I mean, remember, this is on heroic with all directives. Oh, 
Oh, oh, oh, get out of there. I must just blew up. There we go. Oh, come on. Got him. Oh my gosh. Ridiculous. Oh my gosh. Get out of here. Oop. Oop. Where am I getting shot? Where am I getting shot? Got him. Holy moly, dude. This thing is unbelievable. <laughs> That's crazy. Now remember, this is with the Guardian Global Event. So the Guardian Global Event is active, but we are on Heroic with all directives. So that's pretty fun. That is pretty fun. We, we, this this thing's dirty, man. When the Guardian activates and you have shock ammo, this, this thing's ridiculous. All right, here we go. Oh my gosh. Ridiculous. Oh my gosh. Dude. You have to try this build out. Holy There's crap. The memorial into a base. There's an area beneath you with increased security. I'm like leisurely just like running through this. This is crazy. I mean, we might we might even get like a six minute run through here or something. I mean, this has been pretty quick. And I'm doing this on heroic with all directives. I mean, this is looking like a, a league event run. Like they're all getting melted instantly. And that's because the St. Elmo's engine is at over 182K base damage. I mean, this thing's stupid quick at killing these enemies. And then as soon as I get Guardian, Forget about it. I mean, look at that. Oh my gosh. Ridiculous. And this is them with Rager on, too. Remember that. They also have Rager on. Yo, let's go. Let's go, dude. They have special ammo, right? No, no special ammo. It's what? Fragile armor. Uh, what is it? Cool skills? According to the schematic, Isaac pulled upstairs. We can lock that from the control center. That should keep them from being able to transport to the border. Hmm. Oh, I forgot. Heroic. There's another spawn. Here they are. There we go. I just ninja that one. That was cool. All right. That's it. I mean, now we're at the end of uh, Link Memorial. Now, I want to look at the... What is it again? I should keep them from getting more of those mortars. You think the smart? Fuck you. You cool skills, special ammo, fog of war, fragile armor, and rager. Pretty sure that's what that is. Oh no, ammo hoarder. My bad, not special ammo. Ammo hoarder. That's right. That's why I keep running out of ammo. Them damn ammo hoarders. Alright, here we go. It's been a pretty damn quick run, man. I mean, I just took my time there, so maybe seven minutes? Seven something? Hmm. 
Holy crap. Let's go, let's go. <laughs> this thing's ridiculous, man. It's so good. I love it. I love it. I bet that was a seven minute run. I love it. Highly recommend using this build. Yo, that puts a smile on my face, man. That was so good. So good. Thank you. All right, let's see how fast that was. And then we'll get out of here. But holy crap, you gotta use the St. Elmo's engine with double companion. Holy crap, it's so good. It's ridiculous. Here we go. Oh, come on, show me. Come on. And remember, this was on heroic with all directives. Seven minutes. Get out of here. Seven minutes and 42 seconds. Get out of town. With all directives, get out of town. Cool skills, fog of war, ammo hoarders. That's what it was. Fragile armor and ragers. Wow. Seven minute run. All right. Well, there's that. Don't forget, hit that like, subscribe. You know the deal. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. I'll see you in the next one. I'm Kamikaze Von Doom. Take care, everyone. Peace.